Hi, honey. Hi, honey. We're here today with Indy. Hi, Hi. Indy. How old are you? I'm eight. You're eight years old, and this is your second song, right? Yes. Wow. And what is this one called? Figure it out. Figure it out. How do you figure it out? No, you. No, you. No, you. I think hey, you should figure I it out. I have figured it out. Oh, that's good. It's a good thing one of us knows what's going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so why did you write this song? What inspired you to write this song? Um, I mean, part of the words were like, Jesus helped me figure it out. Mm -hmm. And that's pretty amazing. Yeah. This wasn't that easy of a song to put together, was it? Because we got together a few times mm -hmm. to figure it out. Yeah. But the, what was so cool is that, that one line, because that, that really wasn't the original topic in this song, was it? Mm -hmm. It was kind of... It was kind of very generic, but you had that one line in there, Jesus helped me figure it out. And when I read that line, I said, that's what this song is all about. And, and we had a couple of get togethers where we tossed some ideas around and that really changed the whole dynamic of the song. And um, I sometimes get criticized for taking things in, the wrong, in different directions than they originally were intended. But in this case, that, that one phrase was so powerful that it seemed to me like it was a shame. That wasn't the original title of the song either. It just kind of all ended up that way, didn't and, it? Yeah. And all your ideas were so cool and so original, which they usually are because you're kind of like Yeah, you that, are right? kind of original. And you even have a name that's indie. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it, it kind of goes with everything, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, yeah. So how does God bless you? Well, he helped my family get here. We used to be in Canada, and we moved here two years ago. And why did you move here? We moved here because um, lots of different reasons. Yeah, some that you don't want to talk about, yeah. right? And, so, and it's so neat because your first song, we actually didn't even announce that you wrote the song. We just said this was done by the kids' choir because your parents didn't really want your name to be out in the public yet because you had just moved here, right? Yeah, and it was during COVID and time. It was during so COVID was, and was there was some political scary. reasons. Yeah. Your songs are so cool because you're not afraid to address the issues of today. And this is another one of those songs that has a couple of lines in it that aren't exactly politically correct, and that's awesome, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> Yeah, because your your parents do a lot of a lot of outreach and helping people, and um, and it's pretty great that you guys are here so yeah. that you can help the people here in Belize. Yes, you know, so it's good stuff. So keep on writing songs, because you do a good job. <laughs> all right. Well, it's a great song, and we all had fun doing it, and the kids had fun singing it. So let's go. What can I do? What should I do?
Keisha from the Spash Legout Kids Choir. If you've never given your life to Jesus, I'd like to invite you to join our family by saying this simple prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I invite you to come into my life. Forgive me for the things I've done wrong. I want to make you my Lord and Savior. Show me how to live my life and reach my destiny. Amen.